Carissa Cloutier from Premier Gift Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to make a candy bar bouquet. Uh, a candy bar bouquet is one of the most inexpensive yet thoughtful gifts that you could actually give to someone and of course you can go to a vendor like myself or you can purchase one from a store every once in a while if you see them but if you're crafty and you like to make them why not make them for somebody they're actually really easy to do so I'm going to show you how to do that today so first let's go over the materials that you're going to need obviously you're going to need candy bars and this client wants all Butterfinger but you you can if you want switch it up you can mix it up and do a combination um, you can use full sizes or you can choose to use small sizes so I'm going to do a combination of both full size and small size candy bars so definitely need the candy bars for the bouquet you're going to need something called plant steaks these are called plant steaks um, they have a pointy tip so they're easy to plant down into the bouquet get it from any craft store and they come in packs of like 20 maybe even 30 you need ribbon to help decorate your container that you're going to put your candy bars in. Um, I like to use foliage. You don't have to. Some people put more candy bars in it instead of foliage. But I like flowers. It just makes it look like a real bouquet. So it's just really pretty. Uh, you need a wire cutter so that you're going to be able to cut the foliage. And I know some people try to do it with scissors, but if you just get a wire cutter, it makes it that much easier. Um, you need a mailing tape, clear mailing tape, and that's going to be what we actually tape the candy bars onto the plant sticks with and then you need your container again you can use a box you can use a basket um, there's all types of creative things that you can use as a container I prefer to use narrow uh, narrow opening containers or vases to make it look more like a bouquet uh, because I also like to use a pool noodle this is what I use to secure the plant stakes that are holding the candy bars and pool noodles are really a cost efficient way to create a candy bar bouquet because look how much noodle you get and obviously we're not going to use all of this uh, noodle so you can get like five or six different candy bar bouquets out of one pool noodle so that's really really cool you also need a pin because of course we're going to measure off how much of the pool noodle that we actually need and last but not least you're going to need some tissue paper and that's going to kind of act as leaves or grass. Um, I would probably prefer just your regular tissue paper but all I have is this metallic one and it'll look good and it'll, it'll work fine for today. So let's get started making your candy bar bouquet. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do involves the noodle and the vase. And you have to measure off how much noodle you're actually going to need. So what I'm going to do is stick the noodle down, just like that. And I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to measure just right beneath, right under here. Just kind of mark off where I want to cut. And then, it's kind of up to you. I've done it with scissors, but I kind of prefer a knife to cut the portion of the noodle off that I'm going to need. So I'm just going to cut straight down and that's all I need. I don't need any more. I have all this noodle left. Bunches of candy barbecue. And this is all the noodle that I'm going to need. Then I'm going to take my tissue paper and kind of wrap the noodle in the tissue paper like this. And I'm just going to push it down into my vase. Now, one of the things that I like to do is remove the noodle after I've pushed it down in there and spread out that tissue paper to kind of fill the vase. Now there's certain things that you can do. Some people will fill the vase with different chocolates. Like you can put other Hershey's candies, you know, little individually wrapped candies in the vase. So it just depends on what you can do, you want to do. You can get really creative. So I'm going to shove that back in there. And see, it's a little bit more filled out than it was before. And then you can kind of fluff this and arrange this how you want it to look in the vase and neaten it up a little bit. 
I don't like it to be too big, so I may shove some more down there. You know, you kind of work with it. But it doesn't make sense to do all that right now because we have to add our candy bars. Okay, so I'm just going to put the vase to the side for right now because the next thing we need to do is get our candy bars on the plant stakes. And the way I do that is very simple. You're going to line up the plant stake with the candy bar. And then you're going to get your mailing tape. Rip off a piece. And simply tape the plant stake. Making sure the stake doesn't stick off the top of the candy bar. Just tape it to the back of the candy bar just like that. And it doesn't matter if it really overlaps. You're not really going to see that. With the longer ones, you may need longer tape. I like to do it in sections instead of doing one long piece. It's just kind of easier to work with. So that's real easy. You just tape it. Now it's on the stick. And you're going to continue to do as many candy bars as you need. I kind of don't do too much right away because I'm not sure how I want to organize it yet. So I may stop and do, you know, more as I go. So once you get quite a bit of candy bars taped to your plant stakes, then you can go ahead and take your vase again. And you can start arranging, you know, you want to decide which one is the front. I think I like this as the front. And this can serve kind of like a shield in the back. And you want to start arranging your candy bar bouquets. And it, it, this part is going to take a while. This is where you can be really creative. I like to start from the back of the bouquet and build down to the for front starting tall and getting shorter as I go towards the front to kind of make an arrangement. So I'm going to start with the two big ones and then I'm going to kind of arrange the smaller ones around them. And then you're just going to continue to kind of layer putting the candy bars in Just sticking them into that noodle, which holds them very, very well. I've worked with other materials, even styrofoam doing these, and the noodle works best because it goes the whole length of the vase. And you're just going to keep going until you arrange it the way that you want it. Okay, so as you see, I've played with my arrangement a little bit, and I've kind of had my candy bars arranged the way that I want them. So next is to add some flowers. So um, if you are using a, a wire type flower, um, silk flower, you're going to need your wire cutter. And it's a lot easier to just cut the wire. And I just kind of squeeze, kind of wrap it around a little bit rather than trying to use brute force, just wrap it around a bunch of times. And usually it just pops right off just like that. And then you can stick stick it down right there into the bouquet but I didn't really feel like this color I wanted something a little bit more colorful to offset the yellow so what I did was I took a plant stake and I took one of my other flowers which is they're made individually and I just stuck it onto the stem and sometimes you can do that also if you need height and then I tend to put it in places where there are blank spots and depending on how many blank spots you have, that's going to depend on how many flowers you use. And you actually don't even need that many because the candy bar itself, um, the candy bars are just really beautiful themselves. But adding a little flowers in there doesn't hurt. So you can go ahead and start adding flowers and uh, arranging them as well in a way you know that you like and looks presentable to you. Okay, so now I've arranged my my. Uh, my bouquet with the flowers and I've added a couple more candy bars where I thought you know there were spots open but I kind of like this arrangement so I'm now going to take my bow and if you want to know how to make spectacular big I call them bodacious bows such as this one then um, check out the link below and it'll show you how to, to make a, a hand mode, handmade bow or you can just you know pick a bow up from a store um, I'm partial to handmade bows and I'm just going to attach it to the front. Um, you can use glue dots. I find glue dots work. 
Um, I use pipe cleaner in my bows, so it makes it easy to pretty much attach to anything. So I'm just going to take this and wrap it around a couple of times. Pull it pretty tight to make sure it stays on there. And the cool thing about um, handmade bows is that they're so pretty. Um, people tend to use them more than once. So they'll, use, they'll have it now, but they can take it off and they can use it again. So I'm just going to wrap this around a couple of times. Pipe cleaners are really cool to use because then you can just kind of bend it to how you want it. And I'm just going to straighten my bow out a little bit, fluff it up, ready for presentation. Fluffing it out, fluffing it out kind of a perfectionist when it comes to the bow. I don't know why, it's just one of those things. To me, if the bow looks sloppy, it makes the whole presentation look sloppy. And there you have it, your candy bar bouquet ready to give away to your friend. So these are really, like I said, really great gifts, really easy to do. Check out my blog for other tips of different gift ideas and uh, craft ideas that you can do from home as well. And uh, have fun making your candy bar bouquets. See you next time.